actually went to bed last night and I was like, it's a bit cold. <coughs> oh, that's a bit cold. And I was like looking around thinking, looking at the boiler, and like how am I going to get this central heating on? Because I just, there's no like paperwork or anything of how to like put it on. And obviously, I don't actually have conventional heating at home, you know, like a one of those dial thingies, because um, we've got the Rayburn, but um, yeah, I thought, um, and it's been, it's, well, we've got up in it, thank God for an hoodie, because it is fresh, but I've just been searching around, and I managed to find a little thing right over there, like really out of the way, behind the curtain, and I flicked the heating on, thank God, and it's come on straight away. So, that's good. Um, yeah, happy Saturday, everybody. It's 10 to 7. Ideally, I didn't want to get up this early. But, I was saying yesterday about, um, obviously, not being able to book swimming. I looked last night, because you can look on the app. And on the odd occasion, you get something come up. And... There was availability for this morning at 8.45, so I know it's quite early, but I thought, you know what, if we want to swim, I take it, you know? So, um, oh my God, so warm. I warmed up a heater. Oh, lovely. Um, so yeah, we're going to go swimming this morning. Yay, are you excited, Miles? Yeah. Finally got a space. Right, Miles is busy with his toys. Um... Yeah, we've got a little bit of time. I'm just looking at the app, this is basically what I've got booked in. So we booked in the swimming. So we've got that this morning. We're doing pottery creations, which is basically just a painting, you know, you paint your pottery. Um, and that's at half past three. And then we're, we're going out for dinner at the cafe bar, mash and barrel thing tonight. I was originally looking at doing we miss Sea Life Centre. We've done it so many times over the years. I've done it with the big kids when Miles was, wasn't around, obviously, and then we've done it with Miles a couple of times. Um, I can't believe how much it is. If I think pre-booked, like if I would have booked yesterday, it would have cost £67 for us three. I think today it's over £70 if I decide to just turn up. Um, which is insane for a, a, a Sea Life Centre. To be fair, it's a good one. It's one of the best ones I've been to. Um, but, I don't know, I might just take the kids to Weymouth. You know, we could get lunch out if we want to. I did buy, obviously, lunch bits, but we'll get, we'll get ice creams. Um, and kind of, you know, enjoy the area instead of just going to the Sea Life Centre. There also is Sand World next door to the Sea Life. There's also like a go-kart place, which Miles is too too little for. But, um, yeah, I did mention they've got also their own leisure centre, which is um, very close to the Sea Life as well, very close to the beach. But if we go and swim in this morning, there's not really much point doing that now. We could potentially do that tomorrow. But, um, yeah, I think we're just going to just go around Weymouth and have a look around see what there is to offer it's a dry day and if you can see that tiny little that is the road to Portland so we could probably go we could potentially do that and go do um, Portland Bill and see the lighthouse and I think there's I think there's just um, loads of bits to do on Portland anyway probably lunch places and I don't know, nature reserves and stuff. So that's a potential. <coughs> right, we're heading off swimming. I'm just getting Violet out. Miles in his Mario onesie. The ease. We're literally about barely a minute from the complex, by the way. It's literally just there. <laughs> Swim Jiminy. Excited? They've got music on, haven't they? It's like a disco pool. It's the arcade. It's pretty big, it goes right round. Right, we're back from swimming. It was um it was really good fun. The kids loved it. They did get a bit cold, you used to get a bit cold after a while, don't you? So we left. But it wasn't too busy. It's surprising because this whole book on thing, you I don't know, I expect it to be quite busy, but it just wasn't and it's annoying because obviously there's loads of slots. You think everyone would be fully booked, but 
Anyway, I'm gonna sort my face out. I think I'm probably gonna keep my hair up today. Violet's having a shower. She needs to wash her hair. I'm not 100% sure what to do today because we've got to be back for our pottery painting at 3.30. It is still really early. I mean, it is only like quarter to 10, but yeah. Right, just had a quick freshen up, put some makeup on, had a quick clothes change and I've got like my big fleecy jumper to put on because I think I'm still kind of deciding what to do but either way it's going to be a bit chilly so we've got to wrap up. Um, Miles is playing, Violet's just sorting herself out. Luckily, bye, we've got a hair dryer by the way. Okay, so plugged in, it's already plugged in which I didn't realise but that's quite handy. So we've got a hair dryer. Right, some sandwiches for out just for ease. I've got one chicken and salad sandwich, one jam sandwich, and I think I'm gonna have a chicken salad as well. Mom. Yep. Okay, hang on. Right, lunch is done. I pack those up. I take a few snacky bits and whatever. Um, one thing I have noticed is that there is a lot of dogs here. Like. Caravan over there's got dogs, caravan in front of us has got dogs. Luckily they're actually pretty quiet. Um, but yeah, I've seen a lot of dogs. Um, I'm not sure if this is a pet caravan, you know. I don't think it is, but I don't really know. Right, I've made the executive decision and we're gonna go to Portlandville. So, there's a little fish and chips actually, as soon as we come out of the Haven camp, which is quite nice to know. There's a little shop here as well. On the way, I didn't really take in much because I just wanted to make sure I just get here. And it was really easy anyway because I kind of know a little bit of Weymouth. Um, yeah, so we're right on the coast. But anyway, it should take, apparently my sat nav says 28 minutes, but that is the postcode to literally like the lighthouse. So it's probably going to take about 20 minutes, I reckon. Look. Yeah, the seaside's up there where those people are walking. I don't think they're shark infested waters. Turn right. We're here, we just paid a park. It's a bit windy, but it's nice, isn't it, Vi? What do you do? enjoyed Portland Bill. Very nice. Did you have fun kids? Oh yeah, we saw a dolphin. We saw a dolphin. Well, it was like, there's a shark over there. And I was like, it's not a shark. And then everyone was like, oh, it's a dolphin. And I was like, oh my God, it's a dolphin. But then when I tried to get my camera out, it just disappeared. I wanted to do a friend. Yeah. And it was really nice. Yeah, we had a really good long walk had lunch and then walked back. So yeah, been about an hour and a half, two hours. And hour and a half. that dolphin to be so we're going to head back, um, see we could always pop into Weymouth, or we could do Weymouth tomorrow. Although I feel like we got really lucky with the weather because it's just been really nice. It's, it's, it's getting, it was definitely getting a little bit colder but as we were having lunch I think, summer's out, it's been really really nice. It's got really busy all of a sudden, everyone's using the, um, the lobster pot little restaurant there, little cafe. I need to get petrol actually. Remind me, Viola, I need to get petrol because I have seen um, a petrol station which is actually pretty cheap on the way. Right, we are back. I've just put the kettle on, as you can hear. It's very loud. So, making cups of tea and hot chocolate, the kids were like, oh, can we get some hot chocolates? And I was like, oh, you know what? I've got everything. I've literally got Easter marshmallows left over. I bought the hot chocolate. I bought some um, cream yesterday. I was like, 
let's just save seven quid and just go home and have it there. So yeah, that's what we're doing, having hot chockies. We're booked in to in about an hour and a half to go to uh, do pottery paintings. I already, already pre-booked that. So um, yeah, we're just gonna chill out for a bit. Feels really hot in here. I mean, you know, you can't beat a hot chocolate at home. That's why let's I do a chicken. I'm gonna put it here. Yeah? No, so you I... need to find a rabbit or a chicken. I don't wanna do it. Chicken. Chicken. Yeah. I need to do. What do I need to do? Um, blue horse. Blue horse or a rabbit. A rabbit. I'm going to do a rabbit. I'm going to do a rabbit like this. In the arcade before we go to the pottery. Oh. We've got an outdoor pool, but it's not open yet. I don't think it opens till May. Okay, so we're back in the car because I asked the lady at reception, I was looking at the map and I was thinking, where is this creative studio? So I asked the lady at reception and she was like, oh, it's in our sister camp, Weymouth Bay. And I was like, you're kidding me. Like, it's only literally two minutes down the road, but there's no, in no description does it say, by the way, the creative studio is not actually at our holiday camp, it's at the next holiday camp. So you have to actually drive there and go there. So, yeah, luckily I asked with 10 minutes to spare. What's that look like? Mm. Right, I'm actually just sorting myself out. Um, I've changed. I'm in the toilet. <laughs> Um, yeah, I'm kind of at this stage of like, I really need to wash my hair, but I've just put some dry shampoo in because I really don't have the time to wash it right now, I'll just do it tomorrow. Um, but I've had my hair up all day, so I think I'm just, I've put some more dry shampoo in, so I'm going to, um, I think just bung it back up again. I feel like when it is curly, it does make it easier to wear it up because it just gives it more volume. Um, pottery painting was good. Like I said, I didn't realise it was at the other um, camp, holiday camp. Well, I've just looked back at the app just to see, and actually in the small print it does say Weymouth Bay Creative Studio, so that's kind of my fault. Um, but anyway, we made it. It was good. The only downside, I wanted to do a mug or a plate or something, but apparently they didn't have any in stock at the minute. So I ended up doing koala bear, which was cute. Um, there wasn't, like I said, there wasn't a massive choice to choose from but um yeah it was good and the kids loved it Miles was, was I was surpri pleasantly surprised how long he took I, I thought he was gonna because he's, he's only four I thought he was just gonna go and like be done within five minutes honestly he took about 40 minutes he took his time and he enjoyed it and he, he layered it up with colors and yeah so um yeah it was worth doing as a little activity uh yeah I've booked in just to have dinner in the restaurant here just for ease really and just for something else to do and I don't really have to cook either it's always nice and the menu looks really really good they do breakfast lunch and dinner I think here um so yeah we're gonna do that at half past five and then I think the kids entertainment stuff with the characters start at like six so I think by the time we finish it'll probably be quarter past half past six so it might be perfect time for him to see the characters and just enjoy a little bit of the evening entertainment before it changes over as it's Saturday night it doesn't feel like Saturday night I just can't I can't get my days at the minute just the boys are um meeting to grade today um Alice has been helping in the shop but they're also going to see the new um Kong versus Godzilla or whatever it's called so I was just very excited about that because it's one thing he really wants to watch. And it's the perfect time because it's not really suitable for Miles. It's just too scary, I think, a bit too much for him. So, um, yeah, they're going to have a little bit of a boys' night tonight. Probably get nachos and hot dogs and all that stuff at the Odeon. Overpriced rubbish, but whatever. Good evening, everybody. So we've been home a little while. Um, Miles is finally gone to sleep. Um... I think it's, was it quarter to nine? Um, yeah, we had a bit of a funny evening because we went out for dinner and to be perfectly honest, it was quite quiet when we first went out. 
But we ended up waiting nearly an hour for our food and the kids were just, well, Miles was getting irritated. I think it was more because he wanted to see the characters for the show thingy and then we ended up basically missing most of it. And he was, a, I think he was a bit disappointed about that. Um, and my food was rubbish. I had a hunter's chicken and honestly, like the chips was just so old. The chicken was tough and tiny and, and the peas, oh my God. Didn't even touch those, but they just looked terrible. Um, the kids' meals were fine, just my meal was really off. But yeah, generally, um, yeah, we just ended up coming back quite, quite quick after. We kind of went to the show and and didn't. Miles just really didn't enjoy it. I think. I mean, it was quite. It is quite loud in there, and obviously there's a lot of people, a lot of children. And I think because he didn't see much of the characters, I think he was just a bit disappointed. So um, he was like, can we, can we just go home? He just kept saying, can we just go home? And I was like, yeah, let's just go. So um, yeah, we basically just come home and he was just playing for a bit before getting him into bed without me. Because he wanted, we're, he's basically staying in my bed and Violet's got the twin to herself. Um, so yeah, I just I just wanted a bit of an evening to myself. You know, when it's like full on, you've had the kids all day. Like I've had the kids for the last two days. I just need to like not not have them for a bit. Um, so I was waiting, I've been waiting for Miles just to go, go off to sleep. He's only been asleep for probably about half an hour. So um, yeah, I do feel quite tired, but I feel quite determined just to stay up a little bit longer, just to have a little bit, a little bit of time to myself. Um, apparently Alistair's gone off to Nana's after the cinema because <laughs> he wants breakfast in bed <laughs> it cracks me up so Graham's actually on his own tonight bless him he's quite tired anyway but yeah anyway I'm just going to sign off um, I've taken my makeup off I am, I, am ready. I am basically ready for bed sorry my battery actually just died so I've just changed it but um, yeah so I'm just going to I'm going to pop off to bed soon I've only got free view TV, so there's not actually much to watch. <gasps> um, but yeah, it's been a really good day. I'm going to sign off here um, and I will catch you tomorrow. Mm -hmm.